Hello Shines, it's Michelle here and I'm not going to say the rest of my stuff today. I had to postpone my physical therapy a day because yesterday was pretty crazy and today I'm going to talk to you about how I'm making it through. So um, yesterday I had to take my mom to the ER. She does not have COVID. Um, does that make anything better? No. My mom has, she went in because she was having problems with her lungs. She has blood clots in her lungs. She has like nodes and things that have mastocized um, into her lungs. She has a big mast in her abdomen, um, blockage causing her adrenal to I mean, not her adrenal, her kidney, to be enlarged on one side, and um, she has lesions on her liver. So we are looking at my mom having cancer. She's 76. She's super weak, super. She was dehydrated. They put her on oxygen. Now they're putting medicine in to help her blood pressure. And because of this virus, I can't even go in and visit her. They may make some exceptions if. Um, they need me to come in sometimes to talk with the doctor because my mom, she's pretty coherent, but she's also really weak. And so I've been on the phone a lot with them and just, it's been crazy. So how do you get through these kind of craziness? How do you get through the uncertainty of COVID and the, all the unknowns that I'm personally experiencing right now? Um, not even with, not even considering the virus scares and everything going on like all the things that I have going on how do I get through it and the way I get through it is my Heavenly Father my God um, and so I think this is my opinion and I feel very strongly about this that the only way to get through this kind of stuff is to have a higher power if you don't believe in God right now and that's okay like I would love for you to know the God that I know, but if that's not something for you, um, that's okay. I just want you to get a higher power. Um, whether you have like conversations with the universe, whether you have conversations with your higher self, that um, that power that like there's opposite opposition in all things, and that means that yes, we have all this power within ourselves, but we also have a power without ourselves because you know you gotta have those opposites. And so you need to have that being, whether it's the universe, whether it's God, whether you call it source, whatever you call that energy that is bigger and outside of you and all-knowing, that omnipotent, all-knowing um, entity that can help you through this. So that person, that personage being, however you want to see it, that can help you to see the next step whether you're talking to your higher self and trust that your higher self knows all whether you're talking to the universe or you're talking to source for me it is god i mean like i think about it um i know a lot of people have turned their back on the idea of god and some of them it is because the god that they were raised to know as a child in their religion was vengeful and not this good being but I propose to you that just as inside of me, underneath all of the craziness of the outside, all of the beliefs, all of the emotions, all of the everything, there is this being of pure, unconditional, enlightened love. And it is what I see my Heavenly Father being. I believe in a Heavenly Father, a Heavenly Mother, and I believe in Jesus Christ. That's my personal belief. And I feel this divine love from all of them. And I imagine like the love that I feel times it by infinity. I still can't begin to grasp the love that they are and that they have for me. And they are always here for me. They're always helping me. They're always guiding me. When I say like, I don't even know what to do right now. They'll give me little inklings of things to do. Um, they'll remind me to watch this video by so-and-so because a person will just say something that I need. If you don't have a relationship with somebody like that, like find one. Find somebody. Somebody that you can call on in this in times of uncertainty. 
someone you can express great gratitude to as in times of uncertainty and in times of joy and greatness and abundance when you are just like all is well in the world you need to have that somebody who can you can say hey oh my gosh isn't it exciting what's happening thank you so much for helping me create this we work together with this divine energy to create what we're experiencing in life so if you don't have that higher power you really need to get it you really need that higher power that is like our crown chakra that is what that chakra is all about is that connection to this divine energy and if you don't have your higher power you're not using your crown chakra which means you're not using all of your abilities and so that is what i'm encouraging you today it is helping me to get through this craziness where um, we don't know how long my mom's going to be like in the hospital. We don't know where she's going to go when she comes out. My mom and I are living, we live together. So when my mom's finances are not able to help me out, what's going to happen? I don't know. Um, when, you know, how long is she going to live? We don't know. Do I think she's going to die in the next week or so? No, but who knows how long? And there's a lot of uncertainties, and the only way I can make it through is my and my beliefs about God and what happens to us when we die. And so I would like to invite you guys today to make sure that you have a higher power. And if you already have a higher power, what can you do to improve your relationship with your higher power? What's that next step to get to know your higher power and to realize how much your higher power loves you? So that's what I'm inviting you guys to do, to get a higher power and improve your relationship with your higher power. Take that next step. You can get through this. You can get through all things. Um, you are very, very loved. I know that. And I appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys. Till next time, let your light shine big, bright, life, and beautiful.